I agree with you that we ought to do something about the company so that we can make some money. Amos, I was going to make this taxi cab company one of the greatest taxi cab companies the world has ever done note about. I hope you do something with it. One of the first things we got to get is a slogan for the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company. Something that goes on the end of the name so that everybody will know what we are talking about and what we are trying to do. Oh, I agree with you there. It would be nice if we could get some kind of slogan. I got some written down here, but they ain't right yet. Read me what you got. The Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company of America Incorporated. Now, here's the slogan. Hot or cold, cold or hot, the cab you want is what we got. That ain't bad. That's kind of poultry, ain't it? Yeah, that's poultry. But we ain't got to have poultry, though. We need a slogan for the company. We could have one like this. Uh, ride with us and get country air in the city. That's bad, though, ain't it? Well, we get a slogan from somewhere. Uh, what else is you going to do to the company? Well, Amos, the way we is going now, you know the same as I know that we ain't making no money. You can figure that out. I ain't got to do much figuring to find out that, because I know I ain't got enough money to eat on hardly. The thing we has got to do is to make money. Well, how we going to make it? That's what I got to figure out. Mm-hmm. Looking at the books here, it ain't no use to look at them no more, though. I done looked at them till I was sick. Well, what do you want to find out? You know, I was just thinking here a minute ago. I wonder where Wither Parker is. He ain't on your mind now, is he? You ain't thinking about her. Oh, no, no. I was just wondering where she is, though. What do you care where she is? She's liable to come back here and sue me again. Somebody say she's gone to the country for a rest. Maybe she's gone to the country to get rested up and come back here and start all over again. You ain't gonna worry about her now, is you? Forget about her. Amos, I was glad this mess is over, but... I don't know, this mess about this breach of promise thing. But, you know, if she was a little different about some things, she'd be a wonderful gal. Yeah, she done sued you for breach of promise, though. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I know she did. But I was just thinking last night before I went to bed how sweet she was. I was just sitting down by myself, uh, Remy Miffin. What kind of Miffin? I was thinking about her. I hope you ain't thinking about her now. She was mean to me, Amos, but uh, I loved her. Here we are trying to get a taxi cab business going, and you talking about love again. Andy, you make me mad sometimes. I know, Amos, but I was in love. Mm -hmm. I had saved my love all my life till I met Snookum. Yeah. You ain't losing your mind by any chance, is you? No, but Amos, sometime when you're in love, you never get over it. I know you think I was crazy, but she was a sweet gal, Amos. Yeah, she was sweet. But but when she was suing you... And she hopped on you. You didn't think she was sweet then. She was popsy boy. Little popsy boy. You ain't still in love with that gal, is you, Andy? No, I love with her, but I... No, I ain't in love with her. I don't care if I never see her again, but I never will forget... Never will forget what? One night when I was leaving, she cried. And I kissed her. And the tears was running down her cheeks. Mm -hmm. And she said that... Good night, my love. Oh, Amos, just let me think. Let me sit here and think. If you don't stop talking like that, I'm going to take something and hit you in the head with it. I was thinking about it. I don't care nothing about it. If she come back here and start suing you again, you wouldn't think about it. I hope she don't start suing me no more. I don't want to get sued. we got to make some money. Money. What you mean? Well, you ain't never paid that detective yet, and you ain't never paid your... It is right, ain't it? Hmm. What are I going to do about that now? You got to make some money. That's what we got to do. Well, how is I going to make money in the taxi cab business when we ain't taking in no money? I look at the books all the time, 
But I can't get nothing out of the books unless you bring in some money. You're so tired of doing something yourself. You don't expect me to get out and ride with you. No, but when I ain't driving it myself, it would be driving the thing. Oh, listen, Amos. Mm-hmm. Well, you is the assistant bookie, the director. Don't think that you're going to jump on me. Because, you know, I am still the head of the company around here and the head man. And if I want to do it, I can take you off of the board of directors. And you couldn't say nothing. No, I tell you, Andy, I want to marry Ruby Taylor. I don't give her engagement ring, but I can't get married till I get some money. And you don't want to get married till you get some money. Well, we want to get married, though, and I want to make some money. Now, listen here, Amos. Ruby Taylor's been talking to you what to do. No, she ain't now. Yes, she is now. And I want Ruby Taylor to keep her mouth out of business. Because I'm there. Well, ain't no use to get mad. I ain't getting mad. I just... Tell me what? I'm telling you that I don't want you to go out here and talk to us. And then come to do. All I have asked you to do here is to turn and get going to... What are you doing down the lodge hall today? Well, I don't want to talk to you both. What you mean, that's what you want to talk to? I was down there, and he thinks that he knows why we ain't making no money. He knows why we ain't making no money, huh? Mm-hmm. How come we ain't making none? Well, this man is a system man. He comes into the... and looks down and puts the company on a system basis. Uh, so, so they can, you see. Mm-hmm. He calls us some kind of expert, uh, something, let me see, that's uh, the efficiency expert. He don't think he's no expert in eyes, though, do he? No, no. Uh, he claims, though, that he can come into the company and tell you what's the matter with the company so that you can make money, you see. No, no, I done had a long talk with him. I told him that the taxi cab company was going so good and, and that he can come in and put the company on a system basis and fix up everything so we can make a lot of money. That's what he claims. How much he charge? I didn't talk to him about that. What do we do? I don't know. Uh, he he say he come in and figure out everything. That... Oh, I know the kind of talking about. In case the automobile is broke down, he fix it. Mm-hmm. Or so he runs to the store for me. Get me what I want. He do all the odd jobs like that. Sort of, I guess. Get a hold of him. Tell him to come up. I'll put him to work. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Reficiency expert. One of them experts. All right, I see him, and I tell him you want to see him. Oh, yeah. Be nice for him to sit around here and answer the phone, keep his eyes out. He could stay here while I take a nap in the daytime. Oh, yeah. Sure, get him. We can use that time.